suggest we scale the fence over there and make our way into... We should split up. You've read too many copper coin serials, Liko. Splitting up makes us vulnerable. Stay together, we could both end up dead. Part ways, and one of us might still make it out, even if the other doesn't. That's a possibility, but I still think... Besides, one of us has to locate the administrator's quarters. How do you know there'll be one of them? This is an Azadi camp, Kian. There will be detailed records and documents. If you want to find a single prisoner amongst thousands, you'll need records. I'll climb the fence, enter the camp, create a distraction. I look like the prisoners. I can speak to them. If necessary, I can blend in. You find the administrator and the records. That tower looks like a good place to start. Where do we meet? If we make it that far, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Try not to die. You still owe me your life. Oh, I intend to stay alive. I hope you're on good terms with your gods. I'm on excellent terms with my gods. This must have stood here for a thousand years. It's an impressive piece of work. Never mind the foul subject. This wall isn't quite as sheer, and it has outcrops and footholds. I might be able to scale it. This looks like a good place to start climbing. Light! larger than I thought. There must be thousands of magicals here. Are they planning to just murder them all? inside the camp than along the perimeter. The guards are watching the prison ground. They don't expect anyone to be breaking into the camp. They're keeping an eye on the grounds below. See anything? Nothing. I could have sworn. Maybe it was just a bird. You don't think I can tell the difference between a man and a bird? It's dark. It's dark. Just shut up and keep your eyes open. The guards are watching the prison grounds. They don't expect anyone to be breaking into the camp. Hundreds of dead magicals. Hundreds and hundreds of bodies. They can't all have perished from natural causes.
the guards pressing something, but I'm too far away to see exactly what. I need to get a closer look. Stirring things up again. Liko. Shadow. Well, that's one way to create a distraction. That archway must lead into the castle proper. Administrator's office will be somewhere on this floor, I'm sure of it. Management always picks the topmost floor. That's the symbol of the servant's trade. The attendants and domestics that help keep this facility operational. The Maker's Guild. They're responsible for construction and maintenance. Not administ the military branch. They have a large presence here, but they wouldn't be handling the administration of the camp. That, I believe, is the official seal of the Office of Scientific Progress. There were whispers of their existence in Sadir, but I knew of no one affiliated with the Division. As far as I understand, they've been instrumental in the creation of the Engine. They're a new arm of government, and unlike most other offices, they appear to answer directly to someone on the Council. I'd say this is the best place to start looking for prisoner records and incriminating documents. Locked. Anyone around? Isaac? Jaran? Anyone? No one? Oh, goddess, I hate walking all the rounds. Fellows may have the wits of a mind bird, but some nights I swear he's right. This stone tomb is cursed. What in Shadow's name? Oh, come on, come on, open up, you cursed. Oh, for the love of the first mountain. Goddess damn key stuck again. If I... Hey, what's going on? Who are you? With my shadow cursed luck, it'll break and I'll lock one of the sisters inside the privy. There goes my cushy assignment. Just 
right. Come on. Come on. Ah. Those years spent on the streets of Sadir continue to pay off. There's probably nothing in there that I need. The Office of Scientific Progress. Most likely the administrator's quarters. The military branch. They have a large presence here, but they wouldn't be handling the administration of the camp. That responsibility would lie with the sister. Skulls. Shadow. Someone's got a morbid taste in interior decorating. The Necromancer King's lost his head. I wonder why they've all been removed. These statues can't be new. The Necromancer must have had them made when he ruled the island, a thousand years ago. Hmm. Hmm. Why would they need an anatomical chart? Whose skulls are those? They don't look old enough to belong to the Necromancer King. What's the administrator doing with that? The man would have had to be mightily pleased with his own countenance to surround himself with the It's a necklace traditionally worn by a sister. It signifies her standing within the six circles of Sadir. It appears to be pointing at something in this office. Azadir. It's been a long time. There's a straight drop to the ground. I couldn't escape through here even if I had no other choice. The last round of testing surpassed our loftiest expectations, confirming initial theories. The Dolmari Plague has successfully been triggered in a seven-year-old Zidling. The creature survived three days before succumbing to fever and bleeding rashes. It died in blessed agony. The disease has not yet settled in an adult Zid, or plague-resistant Dolmari. Further mutations are required before we can move on to the next phase. What in Shadow's name? Due to disease spreading amongst the prison population, we recommend reducing the amount of Dolmari meat used for inmate rations. What is this? We do not want disease spreading inadvertently within the magical population, as this will negatively affect test results. Goddess. The administrator must be a knitter of socks and scarves. This speaks in her favor. It doesn't budge. Must be locked. The First Mountain. One of our seminal religious texts. stone head, belonging to one of the statues depicting the Necromancer King. It's been decapitated, like all the other statues in this place. Is this abomination?
too dark to... What is that down there? Are those... bodies? You made it. For a while there, I didn't think you would, but those guards... Standards have fallen. I may need to behead someone. Set an example. Goddess, I can't believe you're really here. The Apostle, I am so starstruck right now. I mean, I'm your biggest fan. Biggest? What's going on? Is she dissecting a body? What are you doing to that body? What body? Oh! This body, it's not really a body. It's still alive, so technically, it's a person. Albeit a magical, so not technically a person either. A magical? Is that... Bib? Is that Bib? Is that what this thing is called? I was aware that it knew you, so I thought it appropriate to work on this one tonight. Let him go! But I'm not... Finished. Oh my. I'd always dreamed of meeting you, but in my dreams, I never had to pull a gun. And you weren't wearing clothes. I guess it's true what they say about dreams coming true. Do you think me too presumptuous? There's only the two of us. I'm sure you won't tell. I could call for the guards waiting outside the door, but then our little chat would be over, and I feel we still have so much to talk about. She's hurting an innocent child. Let the boy go! He's harmless! But that's not really true, is it? It may be a child today, but soon it'll be a big blue brute with a serious axe to grind. Besides, this is serving an important purpose. A sacred purpose. You're insane. Insane? But... You don't know what we're doing here, what we've accomplished. And... Here I was, hoping the Apostle would understand. This camp is a research facility, Kian. Not a prison. Not a death camp. We're doing very important work. In the last five years, we've made so much progress. We're closer than ever before to producing the cure. What cure? The cure. For magic, of course. We're creating a scourge to wash the world clean. When we unleash our holy plague, it will spread like wildfire across all continents. Humans will be perfectly safe, of course, but magicals... they will die. Every single one of them. You're insane. No, no, it's perfectly safe. We're doing science here, not black magic. We're being very thorough. You see, we started with the Dolmari Plague. Do you know about this? Many decades ago, it killed almost half the Dolmari in the world. But then it weakened, and the remaining Dolmari became resistant to the disease. A real shame. It would have saved us a lot of work if it had killed them all. What we're doing, what we have done, is modify this plague. It no longer affects only Dalmari. It affects all things magical. People, beasts, insects, plants. Anything infected by magic is cleansed, eradicated. I don't like to brag, but it's fiendishly clever. I don't understand why. Who would authorize something so demonic and inhuman? Who authorized this? The Office of Scientific Progress, of course. The Prophet approved it. The Six... The Six don't know the details, but they know we're working on a solution to the magical problem. They turn a blind eye, but... I'm doing this work so that they don't have to. We're getting our hands dirty. For the Goddess, for the Empire, for the future of humanity. You can see the light in that, can you not, Kian? You're evil. What you're doing here is evil. This is the Shadow's work, sister. Evil. What Magicals did to us, to our nation, that was evil. Those precious Dolmari of yours murdered my family, burnt our farm to the ground. My brothers and, and sisters, they were children. 
What had they ever done to deserve that? They died in agony, crying for our parents while those beasts just watched. And what they did to me afterwards. We're doing this so that no one will have to go through what they went through. Now you've made me upset, Kian. You shouldn't have done that. I mean, I'm the one holding the gun. One shot, and they'll come running through that door. Of course, you'll already be dead. You'll be... Reflexes prove superior to yours. They would have dodged this bullet. You don't dodge bullets. Try me. So what's going on here? Long story. Who's she? I'll tell you later. Help me! Oh, oh goddess, help me! I command you! Sounds like she's very upset. She is. So, what have you been up to, aside from all the stabbing? Uh, freeing prisoners, arming them with Azadi the blades and spears, blowing things up? Sounds fun. It was. Huh. Is that Bip? It is. He's unharmed, thank goddess. I was just about to... Stand down, Dolmari. What in Shadow's name is going on? Where's the administrator? Down there. Down. Get me out of here. Light protect me, I'm hurt. My legs are broken, I'm bleeding! Do you want to explain what's happening here, Kian? Please, Mia. Ask your men to stand down. I serve the goddess, same as you. The administrator does not. Fine. But if you don't tell me everything, and I mean everything... I will. You may want to sit down. This is going to take a while. The final preparations will be completed by tomorrow, mistress. And the ceremony? 
It will begin when the moon rises on Reap Moon's Eve as planned. The engine is ready. We have accomplished everything we set out to do. And the Prophet will be here. So he has told us through his messengers. We have no reason to doubt his word. This is the beginning of a new era, Sister Sire. Indeed it is, Mistress. Such a pity Harmy isn't here with us. Where is the General, Mother? Why does he not grace us with his presence? He's away. Uh, on urgent business. Yes, I'm sure he is. Mistress, did you know about this urgent business of Harmy's? We trust the General to set his own priorities, Sister Sire. Of course. It is a pity, though. Great things are happening, and I'd hate for Harmy to miss out. After all, were the resistance to fall in his absence and the war of the Northlands won, what would remain of his legacy? a steep climb. I'm actually surprised you made it this far. To be honest, I was expecting you to lose foothold and tumble to your death, or for a rock slide, or for one of those ghastly flying things to attack us. I'm really glad I have wings. It's a long way down if you slip and fall. Thanks, Crow. That's more than enough. Happy to help. That's what I'm here for. This is comfortable. This is nice. Great views from up here. Actually, do you think you'll be able to get off my head soon? I'm getting itchy. You want me off your head? Ah, I thought you specifically wanted me to stay put after that whole incident with the stone cat. Nope. Okay, then. This looks like something. This is amazing. A whole city up in the clouds. Wasn't that what you were looking for? I know, but still, seeing it with my own eyes. You humans are weird. They appear to be Ular nests, built on top of the old city ruins. It looks like the broken remnants of whatever was here before these nests were built. It's a giant moth in a cage. Because why not? If you're going to have a giant moth around, a cage is the way to go. Purple Mountains. Hey, one of them's outside. Maybe I can get some help finding Abnaxus. Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I'm Zoe. I'm a friend. Complimenting someone's home is often a good com- Chances are it will respond to its own name. Abnaxus must be called the same in every language. I'm looking for Abnaxus. Do you know Abnaxus? <laughs> Maybe he didn't hear me. The fingers would- He might not understand a word I'm saying. But if Abnaxus speaks to them the way he speaks to me, then maybe the thing he might... Abnaxus speaks oddly, like, You will have must did meet me in a time that was, is, will be, and so on. I don't know if you understand me. I mean, languages work differently over here. I understand some people, but not all, and... <laughs> oh, this isn't working. The fingers were distinctive. Perhaps he'll recognize the fingers. 
He's also got weirdly long fingers. He'd probably make a great pianist. It might help to describe how Abnaxus looked. How about his cane? The cane transcends language. I don't expect the Ular to know anything about monocles, but how... Abnaxus walks around with a stick that he leans on? Like this. Like... <laughs> you know him! Where's Abnaxus? <laughs> Up there? That's... high. I don't know if I can get all the way... Hey! Where are you going? Come back! Shit! One of the Ula. I recognize them from my visions. We made it. This is it. The Purple Mountains, the Ula, so... Yeah? What now? I don't actually know. We explore, try to find Abnaxus and looks. Ooh, sounds like a well thought out plan. Shut up. Oh, there you are. How do I... Hey, let me go! Oh god! Dreamer... <coughs> you did come. You didn't exactly make it easy. Why not, I don't know, just tell me where to go and what to do? Touching you through dreams will be like a blind man searching for a red pebble in a wild river. And if finding you is difficult, to talk even more so. Only fragments of words will survive the journey across. Some things will also not be known to me, and could not be spoken. We do not know where Lux's heart was. You will need to find it on your own. Only a dreamer could take this and bring... <laughs> <laughs> he does not sound well at all. Are you sick? I was fading. I will have stayed behind too long. After my people leave one realm for another, this time is poison. It diminishes me. My loop ends soon. Too late for Abnaxus to journey onwards. But not too late for looks. Not too late for the dream. I will have stayed behind for looks. For you to have found your way to looks. Compared with this momentous thing, my life was of little significance. Sending me cryptic dreams seems like a very inefficient way of doing it. Couldn't you reach someone else and have them return the Soul Stone? Only a dreamer can face the sisters. Only a dreamer will make them listen. Only a dreamer was able to retrieve Lux's heart. The Soul Stone. Only two could touch it. There is no other dreamer now. Only Zoe. Only Lux. Why not send an actual message instead of vague visions? You were worlds away. Any message would be broken. Unreliable. The Ular will help me dream. The bird was needed to have found you in those dreams. The bird was needed. What does that mean? How was Crow able to find me? The bird bridges worlds and souls. The bird has a bond with the Dragon of Spring. The bird was connected to the Dreamer and to the Bloodless King. At the end of its life, the bird will be bonded to the girl who walked across worlds. That's really not an answer. That's an anti-answer. That's worse than nothing. I mean... The bird is magic. Which bird? I wasn't listening. Is a magic bird? 
Where? You were a curious thing, Feathered One. So little, and yet so great. So full of magic. <laughs> right. Sure. I mean... Really? Magic? Oh, yes. You would see this. He said, the Dragon of Spring. What's the Dragon of Spring? The new thing that comes to pass when the old things die. The soul of she who saved the balance, reborn. She who saved... April? <laughs> 